Good evening. Is it free speech or an attempt to intimidate Pittsburgh City Police? That was the issue argued before the state Supreme Court today. It's a case that comes out of Pittsburgh where two young rappers with cases against them by two officers use some violent words in their lyrics. John Delano has more new at six. They call themselves gangster rappers, but Jamal Knox and Rashid Beasley may have crossed the line between protected free speech and terroristic threats and intimidation when they called out two Pittsburgh police officers by name in a rap song, adding, let's kill these cops because they don't do us no good, pulling your Glock out because I live in the hood. The officers had other pending cases against both young men, and when they heard the rap song, felt threatened. Knox and Beasley were convicted, but now the state Supreme Court will decide whether the lyrics were protected art rather than threats. Attorney Patrick Nightingale represents Knox, whose tune is entitled with a word we can't use, blank the police. Would you admit that it was offensive stuff? Um, yes, I would absolutely agree with it was offensive, and I would go a step further and, and to say that that was the point. But Assistant District Attorney Frank Nepa said, by naming the police officers, identifying with cop killer Richard Poplowski, and including gunshots in their video, they crossed the line to unprotected, terroristic, and intimidating speech. I ain't really a rapper, dog, but I can spit with the best. I ain't carry no 38, dog, I spit with the tech. I slide 50 shots, that's enough to hit one cop on 50 blocks. In a separate video, Knox insists he's an entertainer. We in the studio right now, getting it in, you feel me? We entertainers, you feel me? This is what we do, you feel me? I'm only 18, you know what I mean? Soldier 20, we chasing our dream, you feel me? Dream you know what I'm saying? That's all it is, you feel me? It's music to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a poet, you feel me? While the district attorney's office saw a direct threat to specific Pittsburgh police officers in that rap song, Nightingale argues not so. To determine whether or not a threat is a true threat, you have to engage in a two-step analysis of the intent and was there communication. And we believe that if you look at the song lyrics and in the context of uh, the manner in which the song was made, it is not a true threat. Well, here's another complication. The rap song was not posted on Facebook by the rappers, but by someone else. So they argue they did not intend for the police to see it. Courts have given a wide berth for artistic expression, allowing profane and disgusting lyrics that offend one group or another. But calling for the killing of police officers, two in particular, may be too much for the court, especially since these two officers had pending cases against the rappers at the time. Still, no predicting what the court will do and no timetable on when this issue will be decided. Susan?